Maestro switched on the engine of Chandrayaan-3, then this scientist's tears shed. Those memories became fresh. Yesterday, ISRO pushed the button at the Bangalore-based ISTRAC, which is ISRO's telemetry tracking center in Bengaluru, and once again maneuvered the Earth-bound orbit, and Chandrayaan reached 71,000 kilometers away from the Earth. Friends, the way Chandrayaan-3 is going at this time, it will be 101% successful. But in the midst of this success, there is such a face that people wanted to see that he should be present in the launch of Chandrayaan-3. And when Chandrayaan-3 becomes successful, he must be called to the ISRO headquarters. And this person should be shown while broadcasting on television all over India. We are talking about the intake of the former chief of ISRO. You remember the scene of 2009 when contact with Vikram Lander was lost and how we wept bitterly. Such a big agency, the chief of the Indian Space Research Organization, an agency like ISRO, in what manner did he put his feelings on the shoulders of Modi G and expressed his anguish? It is clearly visible how attached the scientists of our country are to their projects and especially in the name of consumption. Today, Chandrayaan-3, which failed as Chandrayaan-2 at the time of intake, is moving towards space, and friends returned after making a 101% record. In the meanwhile, we want to tell you that story. What an inspiring story of this wonderful person, 7G, listening to which you will get an inspiration. You will start searching for that person inside you, who leaves his goals and goals, somewhere, due to his minor problems. I wanted to become one, but this problem could not be created. Oh, I wish I had done this. It would have been better. I didn't have it so I couldn't do it. No matter how small or big your problems are, they will forget and say that brother, there is no need for excuses. If you want to be successful, if success is water, then you should not use excuses. You will understand this very well. Used to sell mangoes, retired from the post of K7 and chief of ISRO. Do you understand? What are you saying? There was a time we used to fill his stomach by selling mangoes. Hearing the story of their struggle, tears will drip from your eyes. K. 7E Kailash Tadivu 7 brought India among the countries which were at the forefront of the space race. Moreover, he had shown the courage to land his lander on the dark side of the moon. Till date, no one has been able to do this except China. But the person who took ISRO to the heights of success, his own life was full of struggle, friends. He was born on 14 April 1957 in Sarah near Kanyakumari. His family was very poor. Even his family did not have money to teach him. He did his early education in the government school of his village. He studied in the village school till class VII. After that he had to go out of the village for further studies. But his father did not have that much money, so he decided to raise his fees himself. K7 used to work in the mango orchard with his father. He recalls that when I was at home, my father did not call laborers. He used to get me to work. Even during college days, when he was in his village, he used to help his father in his fields. He used to take mangoes from here and sell them in the nearby market. In this way, his fees used to be Jugad. In this way, passed the 12th examination by any kind of intake, but now wanted to study further. This required a lot of money. Due to lack of money, his father got him enrolled in the college near the house. It is further told that his father deliberately got him admitted in the college, which was closest to his house. He did this so that he could help her after college, can help in running the house under compulsion. When he was doing BSc from Hindu college, he used to wear only dhoti, kurta, and slippers. Poor Seven is unable to even buy slippers for himself, but despite so many deprivations, Seven had a billion students. He got 100 100s marks in maths paper and became the first graduate in his family. But during graduation, he realized that his destination is not maths, but science. For further studies, he decided to go to MIT, the Madras Institute of Technology, where he got a scholarship due to his excellent academic record and completed B.Tech from here. K7 says that he wore sandals for the first time when he went to study at the Madras Institute of Technology and also wore pants for the first time. From 1980 onwards B.Tech, K. Simon is also pursuing a master's degree in aerospace engineering from the Indian Institute of Science and by the time his degree was completed in 1982, K. Simon had become a brilliant scientist. The journey from selling mangoes to becoming a scientist, that too in the 70s and 80s. Think how much hunger this person had, how much thirst was there to be successful? Do you have inside? Yes, listen to this. 
After this, he got a job in ISRO in 1982 itself. Think at that time what was going on in ISRO on PSLV Rocket, or did they prepare Asia software? Because SLV proved to be very helpful in establishing the rocket in the Earth's orbit. This software was named as Sitara. His software became very famous and his name started being discussed in the entire scientific world. But this was the period when ISRO scientists were trying to go one step ahead of PSLV and develop GSLV, a geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. GSLV was tested on 18 April 2001, but it failed. It could not reach the place where the scientists wanted to send it. Thereafter, it was handed over to the intake of responsibility. His record in this matter was very good. He did not disappoint ISRO and successfully tested GSLV and forced everyone to believe in his ability. After his success, he came to be known as the Rocket Man of ISRO. After this, Sivan took the responsibility of another important work on his shoulders. This was a reusable rocket. Till now those who used to go to space with the satellite of the rocket did not come back. But now, ISRO wanted to design a rocket that would return to Earth after leaving the satellite. It was a very revolutionary idea because till that time, no country had been successful in making such a rocket. They are telling you the story long before SpaceX. While working in this mission, he completed his PhD in aerospace engineering from IFT Bombay in the year 2006. Seeing his work, he was made the head of the launch vehicle fuel department. While working here, it was not even one year that he was promoted once again, and he was made the head of Vikram Sarapai Launch Vehicle Department. This department used to make launch vehicles. Here also he was promoted only after one year because the retirement time of ISRO chief as Karan Kumar had come, and that is why this responsibility was handed over to him. And thus Sivan became the chief of ISRO and K. Sivan has received many honors and awards. Under his leadership, he carried out many big missions. This includes the record of sending 104 satellites into space simultaneously on February 15, 2017, which has not been broken till date due to their efforts. Today, ISRO has not only developed the ability to launch satellites itself, rather, I start earning well by launching supplies to other countries. After this, he started preparing for ISRO's biggest mission, Chandrayaan-2. Chandrayaan-2 was sent into space on 22 July 2019. Everything was going well till 2nd September. Chandrayaan-2 was now divided into two parts. The first part of this means that the orbiter was going to orbit the moon. The second lander was about to land on the surface of the moon. The lander was just about to land on the lunar surface when ISRO lost contact at a distance of 2.1 kilometers from the lunar surface and the lander of Chandrayaan-2 did not make a soft crash landing on the lunar surface. And thus, 7G's dream of landing on the moon remained unfulfilled. He became so emotional that tears welled up in his eyes and Prime Minister Modi G handled him and asked to prepare for the next mission. K7 is also fond of music and gardening, and he fulfills this hobby in his spare time. His whole life was full of struggle, but he never gave up. Always keep moving forward and fulfill your dreams only. Friends, today when Chandrayaan 3 will make a successful soft land, would you not like to see when Prajan Rover will come out from inside Vikram Lander? K7 Jai in the same department of ISRO from where all the broadcast takes place. What does the public say? Do write in the comment section below. Share this video as much as possible. See you soon in the next video on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on YouTube. Till then thank you all from the bottom of my heart for staying till the end of the video.